So here we are at, at zero two hour point hours or something. That's where we're going to meet down there. Okay, hold it. All right. No, opposite way. <laughs> Hello. So here I am in Niagara Falls waiting the arrival of Jack Cummings, who's been doing some research on Queen of the Mist. I'm here to surprise him. And it's going to be quite a surprise. <laughs> so Jack's about to show with my brother Matt and we're going to surprise him and it's going to be quite a thrill and in any second now he'll be coming here so we stand at Terrapin Point one of the closest places to the brink Quite remarkable. Jack, how's your trip to the falls? <laughs> and I was looking at him. I was looking. <laughs> How did you plan that oh, so perfectly? We're so good at what we do. <laughs> Thank you, Matt, for, for, for fucking with Jack's mind. It's just this way too easy. Right. Oh my god. Because I was like looking. It's the hat. The hat. That's the like, hat did it. Like, oh, this tourist is like, I'm sure taking a picture of something over my shoulder. <laughs> and yet you go. No. Wait, how did you coordinate the timing though? It was very we're, easy to do. And you knew do. exactly this was the point? Yes, we've determined that. This is Terrapin Point. You used to be able to walk out there. Um, so Jack Cummings the third, how do you what's your experience so far been here at Niagara Falls like? Shocking on many levels. Elevator one. Thank you. You're welcome. And I mean, did it fulfill your expectations when you when you when you when you saw the falls for the very first time? On, on many levels, yes. <laughs> many, many levels. The like tour. three levels no. or <laughs> five <laughs> levels? We have one in particular. <laughs> so Jack, you're about to go on the Queen of the Mist. Um, <laughs> it goes very well with your orange pants, I might add. It's a series of contrasting colors. You know, should you fall into the Great Niagara River, no one will be able to mistake you. <laughs> and they're going to blame you, by the way. They're going to, you're going to be, you'll be prosecuted. Well, with those orange pants, I, I, I think that we're talking about criminal intent on, on, on your part. So we're coming back from the White Rapid ride there, which I didn't take any pictures of because it would have been too wet. And I'm going to ask Jack now. Um, Jack, overall, what was your feeling of your experience today traveling with the LaCusa brothers, for one thing? And then two, <laughs> going into the rapids and everything. Just like uh, give us a short little um, uh, impression. I'll start with not the LaCusa boys, but I'll start with the ride first. Um, I was very suspicious and suspect that there would be any danger or fear or thrill or wetness, and I was 100% wrong on every possible count. My uh, pants are starting to dry a little bit. <laughs> you can see, see here they're wet, here they're dry. Um, it was unbelievable, unbelievable. The best part were the hush puppies and maple syrup at the restaurant afterwards, though, I have to be honest. What did you really, um what do you think about 
going over the falls in a barrel. Um. I mean, like, would you bring, um, like, certain items with you? Like, maybe hush puppies and pancakes or... <laughs> I'd bring hush puppies and tater tots with me. Just in case you were trapped behind the falls for yeah, a long period of time? Yeah, then I could eat, eat my feelings, you know, while I was waiting in fear. Yeah, right. 